All right. So the question was asked to me, if I were to go crush it and go all out crazy on social media, what would I do? What would I focus on? First things first, you got to figure out where you find the most energy. Uh, maybe it's somewhere you're already focused because we don't want to get distracted. We don't want to get overwhelmed. With all that being said, if you said, Rob, I'm willing to do whatever it takes. I'm willing to go wherever the traffic is because attention is the number one currency of marketing. Where would you go? What would you do? Where it would go would be Instagram. Where it would focus is on Reels. Instagram Reels right now are just blowing up and going crazy. As always, social media is constantly changing with all these different platforms competing against each other and putting more emphasis or attention on you know, certain aspects. We saw what lives used to do a long time ago, years ago, and everyone is competing against each other. And now it's shifted more towards micro content. So if you're going to Instagram, yes, reels would be the number one focus. I would commit to doing a reel every single day. But don't be overwhelmed because people are always like, I just don't, I'm not a dancer. I don't want to have to do dances. You don't have to do dances. There are all kinds of reels. You see people just getting on there and sometimes they're pointing. Other times you see people on there, they're remixing other people's reels. Other times you see people get on there and they're doing something as simple as just showing a really short video of five, six, seven seconds, giving a top tip, right? Or sometimes they're just smiling outside and then you've got different captions that are showing. So how do you find good reels? Honestly, just go spend time on reels, not too much time, 10 minutes, you can save the ones that you like or you can copy the link and sh and save them to a specific notepad in your phone and that's gonna give you examples. That's gonna create awareness for you. As, a, as you have awareness and you are consistently doing reels, you're gonna get better and better and better at them. That's where you start. So commit to doing one reel every single day. Where else can you find content? Well, go look back at some of your very best posts of posts that were written posts and now just create a reel on it. Let me give an example. One of my posts I talked about, and this comes from my book, Your Rank Advancement Blueprint. I think that's right there, there it is. And in that book, I talked about the LaLa principle, learn, apply, learn, action, and how too many people are broke know-it-alls. So I literally did a reel in eight seconds that said, apply the LaLa principle. And then all of a sudden I stopped two seconds and then I did a different angle and I said, learn, apply, learn, action. And then I stopped it and then I did a different angle and I said, don't be the broke know-it-all. It was total seven seconds. That was it. I took something that I already had as written content and created a reel. Okay. So that's something else that you can do. I just think too many times you're overthinking it and you're trying to be perfect. And the only way you're going to become better because you're never going to become perfect is just by doing it consistently. I look back at some of the reels I've done awful, but it doesn't matter. I'm getting better. Right, some of them, you know, well over a hundred thousand views, and I thought some of them that were really good just didn't get that many views. That's just how it goes. Uh, other times, I look at the posts on social media and how awful those posts were and the engagement they got from seven, eight years ago, and I thought they were good posts. But how did I get better? Because I was consistent, consistently doing it, which created awareness, and I also improved my skill as I go. Now, if you want to go next, next level, I would also encourage you to do five to seven stories on Instagram every single day. Now you can apply both these principles on Facebook as well. They're not doing quite as well, but if that's your jam, great. You can focus there. You can do the reels and you can do the stories, same exact principle. Five to seven stories every single day. Now if you wanna go next, next, now next level, you're like, Rob, I'm, I'm doing whatever it takes. Well, this is where you can create an additional post on top of the reel you do every day. Now I would prefer that you spread it out, so four to five hours after, so not like all together, right? Spread out the content a little bit. And if you're gonna make a post, one of the best posts are carousels. So it's you can post up to 10 images in one post. It doesn't have to be 10, it could be one, two, or three. But this right here forces people, right? They go over and they see it. It usually creates more engagement. Uh, Instagram loves it. They love features that are newer, even though it's not brand new. It's, it's newer. So these are my top tips for right now of what's working. This is gonna help you to create micro content consistently and going where the most attention is currently on social media as this is always constantly changing. Go do it, go make it happen. Let's go up your social media game, create more attention because remember attention is the number one currency of marketing.